That was a cut, little snippet of a <laughs> of an album I was recommended from um, some people. A guy named Jason Tebow. He's like skinny scarecrow, white guy. Who I think he's almost homeless, but he's a podcaster. Have you you know who he is? Mm-hmm. You do? Yeah, he yeah, does yeah, yeah, the, yeah. That one with um, Sam Tripoli. Yeah, yeah. He looks like a magic man. Like if you were in a forest and he he has like little beads that he sells you, like seeds, but rare seeds. <laughs> rare seeds from um, rare Stardew seeds. Valley. How you can know? tears oh. be dry, though? They can be. They crystallize in your eyes. Science. Oh, oh. Science yeah, alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Nick yeah. Youssef, you know, the Persian guy that I know? Yeah. He's done this podcast, right? Yeah. No. He talk- no, he hasn't. No. He's never He's done. He's never done. Oh, no. He hasn't. Mm-mm. Oh, he did Steve's. Oh, he did Steve's. He did Steve's. Yeah. Well, he'll never do it. <laughs> <laughs> if you've done Steve's, but Ty Siegel's new album, Goblins. What is it called? Freedom. Freedom. Freedom's, Freedom's Goblin is so good. Everybody, hey, welcome to another episode of uh, Tiger Belly. I just woke up from a nap because I just flew in from Houston. Me tired. Does nine hours constitute as a nap? Yeah, when you haven't slept in three days. Ah, yeah, that's Boom. true. Boom. Mathematics. Uh, mathematics, my friend. Science alert. <laughs> that's science. not science. That's mathematics, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> yeah, mathematics, my friend. <laughs> All right, and then we got George <laughs> Kims. We got uh, Gilbert <laughs> Stephanopoulos. What's up? <laughs> and we got I'm Greek. Delilah. Listen, guys. Um, I've been thinking in my head over and over again. I've been re- reliving George's set in my head. <laughs> The whole week? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't stop it. It's like I was, um, I mean, I, I don't want anyone to get offended. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to reword it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it was like I was sexually assaulted mm. okay, by, yeah, sure. by like a celebrity. You know, like, you know, like I was. You are me too. I was me too. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I, fe- I feel like it's something that I cannot shake. I'm going to just tell you. I feel like I have a resentment too. I'm going to just tell <laughs> you, you right you now. Just, that. That setup made it impossible to defend my set at all. That is without <laughs> looking. There's no way to defend it. Um, you you owe me an apology. <laughs> I owe you a thank you. No, I really no, I know you owe, it. No, 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 no. You owe me an apology for making me witness that. So I want you to say I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. That was a great experience. <laughs> all right, you know what? I really appreciate it. You right it. now, you're I've... grounded. You're fucking grounded artistically. <laughs> All right, now you put the hat on, go in the corner of the room, and you shut your fucking mouth. Wait, what does that mean? He can't, like, write jokes right now? No, just for, like, five minutes. Okay. Okay? You don't talk for five minutes. Are right, you hairy face, fucking dumb, Artistic. delusional piece of shit. Oh, my God. All right. George, on a scale of one to ten, what? how would you grade yourself? Put your fingers up. You can't talk. Seven. 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 Shit. Good. Seven. I thought I did like a seven. Oh my god. You know, you, someone you, wrote in wrote us an email. Yeah. Um, in regards to um I think we always talk about people who are delusional. Yeah. And he said that he's a creative director and he said that there is a term to describe oh, yeah. someone who thinks they did a lot better than they actually did, and it's called the Dunning Kruger effect. Oh, yeah. oh, we have a terminology no, now. It's a, yeah, Dunning, the Dunning Kruger, Kruger effect. No, it's not an effect. Dunning Kruger uh, phenomenon. Dun, Dunning Kruger phenomenon. Oh, Dunning Kruger effect. Sorry, I was right. Well, the Dunning Kruger. Can I read it you, to you? If you if you change it again, <laughs> if you change it again, I'm never gonna be able to retain it in my head. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna call it the effect phenomenon. Can I read it to you? <laughs> Tell me if this is what well, is it an effect or an a phenomenon? Phenomenon. Effect, effect, effect. Okay, okay let's God. establish that. Okay. In in the field of psychology, the Dunning Kruger effect is a cognitive bias wherein people of low ability suffer from illusory superiority, mistakenly assessing their ability as greater than it is. Mm. The cognitive bias of illusory superiority derives from the inability of low ability persons to recognize their own ineptitude. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> it's it's that's no, not mean. It is fucking. Dead on. Without the self awareness of metacognition, low ability people cannot objectively evaluate their actual competence or incompetence. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, keep playing. Is that it? <laughs> keep uh, playing. Okay, so there's two types of Dunning Kruger effect. It's that either you hold yourself in such high esteem 
or you hold others in low uh, you get you have a very low regard for others so like i don't think it's this uh, uh, latter i think it's the um the first thing with george that he yeah, i think he he <laughs> You're allowed to speak yeah. now, Oh, yeah, it's done. Your timeout's yeah, 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 done. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was ready to come in hot at five minutes. Was... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Did you put your timer on? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my I'm an oh honest my person. I, uh... Hey, nerd, beat nerd. it. God damn it. Beat it. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, just wait. What was the... God damn it. I was, uh, I was writing down. I was writing... Instead of the... Yeah, this yeah, is exactly what we're talking this about. Is like, yeah, right? Keywords. Yeah. Low ability and oh, ineptitude. <laughs> I am very offended by the low ability statement that <laughs> kept on coming up every time you, you described the effect. Can we can, can I, we can we at least do this? Can mm-hmm. we at least do this? Okay, that I'll give you this. You went up there. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Not yeah, only yeah. that. Not only that. You didn't seem like you weren't stuttering or. Oh, you tried to get my head. I refuse. I know. To let I know. That but happen. you. You said. I think. Stop. Stop. Just let him go, George. Stop. <laughs> You went up there and you memorized a bunch of things and you said those things the mm-hmm. way you planned to say them, okay? But let's say um, I was gonna go see a, um, a musician, like, hey, you go, come on, check out the singer-songwriter mm-hmm. at you know some coffee shop, which I would never do. But anyway, I, like, <laughs> I, I go and he's up on stage and he's in a clown outfit and he's juggling. <laughs> and he looks great. He's confident. He's killing it. Yeah. He's killing it with the juggling. Yeah. But that's not what I came to see. That's not, you know, singing. Yeah. What you were doing up there was not stand-up comedy. It was some sort of weird spoken word. <laughs> it was poetry. It was not even. No, it wasn't poetry. It wasn't poetry. I'll kill you. Guys. Yeah, it's not poetry. But you know, so I'm going to give it up to you mm-hmm. that there was a bunch of people there. You went up on stage like you said you would. And you gave us a little horror. And I'm proud of you. And I thank you for your service. And let's just l- leave it at that. You can't tell me that you killed. I wouldn't say I killed per se. There's room for improvement, definitely. Okay, sure. And now that I've had this experience, I think I will improve greatly. Okay. If there's... Okay, <laughs> let's, okay. it's like this, okay? Let's say I was a pool man. It was an empty pool, right? <laughs> And let's just say filling the pool, filling the pool, right, is being like a competent stand-up comic, okay? Okay. What you did, and I'm not exaggerating or lying, was me taking a visine drop and just boop in the pool. A dot. That's water. the amount so here's of- what I th- Here's what I think happened. I think I did okay, but then Craig- Craig told the audience I did badly. Then you went up and told the audience I did badly. You did badly. So afterwards, the audience was like, well, he did okay, I thought, but these two people oh have done it a lot. God. They, they know it's comedy a, a lot you know more what, than what's me. What's the term? The George he has Kim- it. No, it's the George Kimmel effect. It's a different effect. It's a, yeah. <laughs> it's, a different, it's a different one that we have to create. Yeah. JKA. Uh, oh, GKA. GKA. G- George Kimmel effect. I, I think GKA. I... A-fact. I'm being sincere. I think oh, A- oh, the yeah. George Kimball A fact. Yeah. Oh yeah, E G-K-A. effect. E. Sorry. <laughs> I, I was thinking the same. I'm thing. so dumb. I <laughs> genuinely think that you can write. You're a great writer. Nope. Um. He got chuckles. Um. No. I. I whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop, 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 stop! Now this is what I wanted to see. Yeah. Now He's, stop right here. What I, what he just did right there, right, was. He's now in for life. G- Gilbert right now did something that was like so brave. <laughs> that it was so brave <laughs> and so Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. It was like, whoa, dude, you're going to fight those like, you know, those black riders. Oh, pull, my God. A battle. With, with like a torch. That's what you just did. And you saved Frodo. My God. What you did right there gave me a lot of respect. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm so proud of you, George. I couldn't have done thing, that. Yeah, yeah you could have. Oh my I, God! I, <laughs> you could have done it. I could have not done. You would have crossed it up ten times. You would have done it. I, uh, sweetie, the the <laughs> ten times that I did stand up, I couldn't even get a sentence out. I, I was understand. Nervous. That I'm telling was... you right now, and I promise you, I promise you this, you would have done better. I wouldn't have. Okay, well, that's that's right but there, the not difference... a factual thing. Everyone listening to right now, all right? We're now on a George Kimmel like support group, all right? My name is Bobby. I'm a George Kimmel addict. 
But the the difference with me GKA. is GKA. GKA. Yeah, GKA. I wouldn't have walked out of there and said that was pretty good. I would have been like, oh my I god, even, I ate it. Yeah, I can't even. He doesn't have the I ate it gene. Yeah, you don't have it. You don't have it because I'm going to tell you this right now. Even at your how long have you been doing it? Uh, I haven't been doing it seriously because I dedicate my life to All this. Right. But uh, good. and we you thank know. you for your service. Mm. Uh, Bi-weekly, uh, well, yeah, about yeah, a once yeah, a week yeah, for a couple you. years. He also works for every other person. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I mean, you're like stretching yourself then. But anyway, um, <laughs> let me say this, okay? If I had the, if I had that response with that many people, I literally would have walked off stage and ask any opener, anyone that I opened for, it would have been precipice. I'd be on the precipice of suicide. Oh my god. Oh my god! Don't put that in his head. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, no, that's you. You're you're healthier than I am. You're healthier than I am. I'm just telling you, me is I just have the opposite ear effect. Yeah. Where if I everything that I do is shitty, everything. Yeah, yeah. Like this weekend, I did the Houston Improv. There was only one show, and that's Sandy. I walked off. I go, that was good. I was in the. I was in the zone. You know, I improvised, I was good, uh, every retort was perfect, everything was good, and, um, yeah. Matter of fact, the show before you went on, he came to the green room when he was in Irvine, and he was like, that was the worst show I've ever done in my oh, life. told us that. Yeah. yeah. I cannot, I have a good ear, and you need that. If, if you would have said, wow, I mean, I did everything that I said I would do, but that wasn't the response wasn't what i expected i'd be like there we go that's what i want but i don't want to hear oh yeah that was pretty good i could have done better but no because this is this is the comedy is not this is the green berets you know you want to be able to do all the exercises you want to be able to do all the things so that in combat you're ready I'm so, still proud of you, George Porter. I'm ki I'm kind of not. <laughs> I'm, kind of, I'm kind of not. But you know, you you really just ruined it for me. But, but like I'm kind I, of as not. a human being, as a human being, right? Uh, me and Sandy Danto were at the airport today. Uh -huh. He was my opener, and we uh, we were like, just we we played this game where I was like, if so and so died, would you cry? Mm -hmm. So I was rattling off comics names to him. He was like, no, no, yes, no, no. Mm -hmm. and we laugh about it. And he asked, if George died, would you cry? And I go, I think I would. Dang. But not, not, but not, but not like I would with Kalila. It would be devastating. Yeah. With Kalila, it would be life altering. Like, I'm, you won't see me for three, five years. You know what I mean? I'm, it'll, with you. How many weeks do you grieve for George? Weeks. Okay. How many, uh, <laughs> how many minutes? No, no, it would no. It would be like I would have to cancel a bunch of things. Oh, uh, I would be devastated. Yeah, I would be too. George it, is like my work, my work husband. He's, don't die. I for sure cry like a lot. Uh, yeah, I would. I would be devastated. Me too, me too. George. You will, Bobby. And I would feel so bad cry. about the times that we just roast you. You know. Yeah. On and off. Yeah. The air. You know what? Yeah, you do a good job. Because Thank you know you. what? If there's. <laughs> That's an uncompliment. There are very few people that can take what we give to you. I th I think about this. I'm like, is George, you know, he's like, is George replaceable? And I'm like, nope, he's not. There's nobody who would put up with as much bullshit as you do. Yeah. With us. We're not easy people. You're not. And you just, you just sit there poker face and you just take it like a man. So, so I was in Houston and God, some fears happen. First of all, I'm in town and Sunday's a little light. You know, I can mm. look at the books and you know why it is? Joe Coy is doing a show in a theater. Same town. Same town. And it's like that fear of like, you know, you know, you know, you, 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 no matter how long you're in the business. And I love Joe. Joe's done our podcast. He's like yeah. a brother. But still, that little thing in the head that goes, what have you done with your life? Look at where he is playing. Mm. You know, I mean, he's playing thousands of theaters now. He's a big star now as a yeah, stand-up. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, Sunday night, um, you know, I, three, 
but 300 people showed up for my show, which is fine. That's pretty good for a Sunday. For a Sunday. And then afterwards, I'm out with um, Sandy and, um, oh, I just want to say, I never, never, never have done this before. But, you know, when you do a club, the, the club provides you with an MC, a local guy. And nine times out of ten, they're just losers. I'm nice to all of them. I take them out to eat, you know, and I, you know, we I have fun. I try to have fun with them. Legitimately, the guy this weekend is, I think, a guy that I'm going to know for a long time. I love this kid. His name is Grady Pruitt, and he's new. He he won funniest guy in Texas or whatever. Mm. He's only been doing comedy for a year. Damn. And he's so good. <clears throat> And he's 23. I think the funniest host I've ever seen um, MC for you was that guy, Adam Passy. Oh, from, yeah. Um, Portland. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. The big yeah. Samoan guy. I liked him a lot, too. He is brilliant. He's brilliant. He is. Go- he has to make it. Yeah. But There's no one that looks like him. There's no one that sounds like him. There's no one that writes like him. He is no, his own guy. But I also want to say that Grady Pruitt drove me to Walmart at like 2 in the morning Oh, he like did the extra shit. Hmm. No matter what I needed, he was there, and he it's just this gig. He you know who looks like a young Michael Shannon. He has fish eyes. Oh, he, <laughs> you know what I mean, Michael weird, Shannon. Yeah, yeah, weird <laughs> fish eyes. And he'd be in the car. It's raining, and he just have googly fish eyes. But he was genuinely a great guy. But anyway, um, my point is is that we were eating after mm-hmm. Sunday night. And my and then I heard and then the owner like the manager of the improv goes, "Hey man, I'm at Joe Coy's after party. You gotta come. They want you to come." And I was sitting there with a dilemma. I cannot go. I can't just show up to that thing. It would make me feel. So I didn't go. But then the worst fear this morning. I, I was in the airport sneaking around and I. I you, went three hours earlier. I wanted to see if I could get a first class ticket because my fear was my fear was that he was gonna be flying back at the same time and then he was gonna have a first class and I would have to walk by him and I would have I wouldn't be able to do it. I would have missed my flight. Oh my god. So was he on the flight? No, thank oh, God. Oh good. I thought that and was I had Sandy there. do tours around the the, 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 the You had airport? scouts? Oh yeah, yeah. Little birds? Oh yeah, I had birds. <laughs> I had birds. Yeah, yeah. All right, Varys. Yeah, I was like Varys, and I, he, he's. I don't see him. Are you sure he's not at that restaurant over there? You know what I mean? He's like, no. And then all the coast, the coast was clear. Yeah. And I walked by first class. It was a bunch of old white people. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. No Filipino. Yeah, even I got nervous. For you, you did. Yeah. That, that I, 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 because here's the thing. I started with him. I could, I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah, you could. Would you, would you not get on the plane? No, I would. I would have missed. I wouldn't you just make a joke? <laughs> wouldn't you make a joke about it and just like power through? No, there's no joke. <laughs> There's no joke this time. No, I would. I mean, if I walk by him, I would say, "Yeah, you're the king. I'm. I'm a peasant." <laughs> That's the only thing I could say. You know, and um, congratulations, Joe. You won that. <laughs> He's not even serious. Yeah, I know you won that. I know, <laughs> you won that weekend. What does his like whole posse in first class do? You know that, uh, that, yeah, like his openers, his openers. <laughs> oh, I mean, even the host from out of town. Yeah, yeah, on the uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I w- that would be. I would have to go to therapy. That would be. You know why? Why is that? Why am I like that? You torture yourself so much. Yeah. Why do I torture myself in in those little paranoia? I play these little games with myself that makes it makes my life much harder. I, instead of be- living free. Honestly, I love our life. I love the level that you're at right now. I don't want you to be any, I want you to be more successful and content in the work that you're doing, but I don't want you to be any richer. And I say that because we have so many funny, silly memories like this yeah. where we can laugh about being just a touch poorer than those guys. Yeah, yeah. And we always have like this level of embarrassment when we we can't go into like priority the priority line at the airport <laughs> yeah, and yeah. we always fight well, about it yeah. no we don't yeah, yeah. Well, we go we are normal regular flyers yeah we, yeah we don't have special treatment at all yeah and we, it's we have fun that way it's yeah. fun yeah <laughs> or like, like he's like or what? like or like you know go, waiting an hour at a restaurant and then yeah. it me going i hope somebody recognizes me so that yeah. maybe yeah, i get yeah, a little yeah. bit more respect in here you know what yeah. i mean it those are little paranoid little fucking things that i do that I, but I don't know if you know what fuck it it is the way it is and I've accepted it 
Because when we finally do get to sit first class, or we get oh, you wait, do get recognized nice. and we get seated, you're you're happy about it's it. Nicer. We can talk yeah, about it's it. It's nicer. Yeah, it's nicer. Imagine just having everything, and you're gonna feel numb to it all. And you're you're right. All it's something memories. to strive for, I guess. I mean, the new thing is like all these splitting up together billboards are coming out in yeah. LA, <laughs> and I'm nowhere to be found. <laughs> right? And I'm like, you know, you look up, oh, am I on a show? Because the whole point of being on a show is the billboard. It's just the billboard. I don't give a fuck about everything else. <laughs> you don't care if you're even on it. No, you because the, the billboard. The billboard, if I was on a billboard, right? Oh, man. It's only there to cause pain with my fucking fellow man. Your like, competitors, <laughs> yeah. My yeah. competitors. Yeah. You know, I want, not, I love him, but I want. Joe Coy did drive by. Why? You know what I mean? The thing, go, um, okay, I did this many seats in Houston. I had first but class. But he's doing that. But he's right? network. But I don't even have that. You know what I mean? So it's almost as if, like I'm not, you would you'd have to see the show for people to go, and they're not going to see the show. Who you know? is it? Just Jenna Fisher and Oliver? No, Jenna Fisher, Oliver, and the kids. Wouldn't okay. it be weird if you were on the billboard? Just, just in the like background, it through a window. The Asian couple, <laughs> right? Like <laughs> just, just half a face <laughs> through a window with just uh, half my face, just one eyeball. <laughs> the, th the thumbs up. You know what I mean? I want people to know that I'm on a show, right? Thumbs yeah. up. You know what my dream is? Is you know how if you drive by Warner Brothers? Oh, with all, all the show yeah, movies? they have all yeah, the yeah, ones yeah. that they they produce, which yeah. is splitting up together as one of their shows, Warner oh, Brothers, okay, yeah. right? My dream, if if. Because if the show stays on, we'll get on that. Individual faces yes. like they do for the other show. No, they'll just put a big, you know, they did it with Mike and Molly. They put eight people on it. Yeah. Oh, the show on one slab. And it's there for like years. Mm. It sits there next and to it, it's it's also a gigantic traffic spot that all my friends drive by. Barham. It, that needs to happen. If that happens, Game. then I can cause pain within people. <laughs> right? And and paranoia and delusion. Because they have to go to 101. And they have to go to the, the 101. 101 or the 134. It's, all, it's right there in the Mecca. It's right? all it's the highways. It's all the freeways. <laughs> right? I need that to fucking happen. I don't give a fuck about the money. Don't pay me. Just put me on that fucking billboard. You should put that in your writer. I would, yeah. I need to be on that. Don't pay me thing. for an episode. Give me a billboard. Yeah, it's all about survival, guys. It's all per about perception. This town is perception. Yeah. It is perception, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm going to tell you this. And I, I always go to the, to this movie when I'm feeling down and low. So the whole Joe Coy thing happened. Whatever, and I love him. I'm very happy for his success. Don't get me wrong. I, I, do, I remember when he was a kid, yeah. okay? And he worked so fucking hard. And I truly love the guy. Mm -hmm. You know, like I love Gabriel Iglesias. I've known him when he was a kid. And to see him, it's, it's almost daunting to see somebody go from no money, mm. nothing, shy, to becoming a franchise. It's fucking crazy. Shy? Oh, he was a shy kid. Oh. He was 17 when I saw him. Shy, wow. Not shy, but he was like this fat guy, kid, Mexican kid. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, hey, I do voices, you know. He was in Coco. I know. He played the clerk. Yeah, he played the clerk. You don't think I would look up all that shit? Okay. You <laughs> oh, I'm a Mr. Paranoia. <laughs> I want to know who's doing what. Who's doing all the fucking animated You know what? Stuff? That's so funny, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. Because when I watched Coco, that's the first thing I searched to see if he, he did a voice in it. Yeah, I wanted to see if he did one. I wanted to see if um, Angela Johnson did one. Mm. Did she? No. Mm. No, no, no. Coco had me in George, tears. George Lopez. Oh, Have you seen Coco? Yeah, but let me oh, yeah. finish my point and then oh, we'll yeah, go yeah, to Coco. Yeah, yeah. So when I'm down and feeling blue, I'm happy for everyone, is I go to this document, the Joan Rivers documentary. I'm telling you right now. I, have you seen it? Hmm. I've seen it a thousand times. It literally is, it literally is, it, 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 it's, here's this woman who has done everything she was like johnny carson's go-to guest host I mean, she was the permanent guest host of the tonight show right she paved the way for female comics i mean she in this documentary you see her do spots at the age of 75 and she is legitimately edgy and funny anal jokes i mean shit that a kid would do right and that comedy like it's not you know like looking at her sketch she looks at her schedule and she gets bummed about, oh, it's not working. You know, like mm -hmm. that whole, it, it, I'm a comedian. And it, I need to see somebody at that age still go through it. The rejection and her, what am I going to do? And it's just kind of inspiring to me. Mm -hmm. 
because it, rem- it uh, you need it makes me realize it's not just me and also it's never going to end and it's okay to have years where it's not happening and there was like an agent in and he goes Joan Rivers will always stand in the rain because mm-hmm. she knows that she'll get struck by lightning she'll wait out there forever you know and so my advice to everyone in this room, stand out in the rain. Keep trying. Because you, he, it, it, Joan Rivers knew that at, at any moment something would happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what for her what happened in this documentary is, I mean, The Apprentice, which you know, to us, I don't know if it's something that I would want to do, mm-hmm. but to her at her age, it put her, she won it. Yeah. It put yeah. her back on the map, mm-hmm. my point, but you could see her struggling, trying to find work. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like, and it just never ends. So you know, you, you just have to be, you know, in the moment and just, just, you guys. I just want to say, at the end of the day, I don't know why I'm getting so emotional, but at the end of the day, everything in my life is the way it's supposed to be, and it's perfect. At the end of the day, if I look around. You know, I'm not as energetic. You know, I maybe have some physical problems, high blood pressure and whatnot. But if I look around and see my dogs and I see Kalila laying in bed when I come home and the animal's happy to see me and I'm not, you know, I'm, I, I can put food on the table. That right there is it. There's nothing else. It's never going to get better. Mm-hmm. It'll never get better. This is the perfect, this is the best it could be. Mm-hmm. And yet my mind you know, it tries to sabotage me. My mind goes, no, what about this? What about this guy? You start comparing yourself with other people and, the, and that's just, that that sickness will never go away. That's just your b- brain trying to fuck you. You don't I think, think you'll ever find peace? I no, I, I I just found peace just now, bitch. Oh, okay. You just said, you just I, said just, you... I just said everything's perfect, you bitch. Jeez. I just fucking, just, I just told you it. And peace is gone. It's okay, baby. Bitch. I'm sorry. Anyway. You know, um, bring bring up Coco, babe, because that movie. I already did. When did you guys watch it? I watched it on the plane there mm-hmm. to Houston. Yeah, and I downloaded. It. I'm like, I don't want to watch Mexican cartoons. <laughs> I don't. You know what I mean? I don't want to watch Mexican yeah, it, cartoons. You, I stared at it for like ten minutes, <laughs> and I go, "Fuck it!" And I watched the whole thing, and I laughed. There were some funny moments in it, but the end. I don't know why, but. I had snot bubbles. It was bad. Mm. No, crying. It fucked yeah. me up. I was like, ah, Coco. You know, I like I was doing the whole thing in the air. In the air, <laughs> people were like looking at me like somebody had died. <laughs> I mean, I was I was unconsolable. I love that fucking movie. How yeah. about you? And I told Kalila to see it. Yeah. You sobbed too. Everyone said they've been sobbing. Yeah, and my sister and I were like in a in a deep embrace, just sobbing for two hours. <laughs> It's so touching. It's one of the. It's yeah. actually one of the better animated movies I've seen in a long and time. I, I think if I didn't go to Tulum, it wouldn't affect me as much. I'm sure if I cr- would cry, but it kind of like reminded me of it. It's just the stray dog in it. I'm not gonna get it. I don't want to spoil. Yeah. Do any spoilers? But you know, and just you know that kind of energy. You know, mm-hmm. it kind of got that right. I mean, I've been to Mexico, Tijuana, Juarez. Yeah. Yeah, killing the game Dude, late night. Dude, he was yeah. killing it, bruh. Alita, Chicago yeah. Club, yum, yum. the Hong Kong Club. <laughs> Those brothels are still around. I ask. Yeah. <laughs> you walk around. I ask, I ask around. Is I go, good. is Adelita still open? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I ran into a guy who owns, I'm not going to name his name, but he owns a chain of restaurants. And he hasn't had a girlfriend in like 10 years. Mm-hmm. And he showed me photos. Oh, here are my girlfriends. And he showed me photos of women, the really beautiful women. Mm-hmm. And I go, oh, what is some sort of like club you're a part of or you know, some site or like some dating app or, no, these are Adelita, the girls of Adelita, mm-hmm. the brothel I used to go to as a kid. Wow. And it's still there, you know? Do you get ever like, I know you love me. I'm not doubting that. I love that. you. I know that we- You're the one. I don't doubt that. I believe That's it. That's why I don't go to Adelita. I know, but as a man who's <laughs> bitch, been in, in a relationship it. for... 
because I think I do think that monogamy in itself is sort of like is this dated idea, right? I like to be monogamous because I'm sort of a lazy person. I've been in a po- you know polyamorous mm-hmm. relationship before, and it was exhausting, and that didn't work out. But as a man, do you sometimes miss inserting your penis into other, you know? It's not that. I think what it is is there is as a kid, because the I got sober at seventeen, and then I started going to brothels. So it substituted that adrenaline rush of drugs for me. Mm. You know, there's something about crossing a border with your friends, with a wad of cash. And going to these brothels and you don't know what's going to happen, you know, and you find somebody or you don't or whatever. But it's like it, it is a drug in that way. But that's the only thing that but that's a young man's game. I don't need to do that. And also to me, that's always a um, it's it's going to um, help make me relapse eventually if okay. I behave in that way. It's mm. relapse behavior. Mm, okay. It's it, it's dishonest. It's it's also kind of like a drug. You know, it's it, it's not it's, it's reckless. Risky. It's risky. I I'm not. I you know you think, you know you think things through, <clears throat> as an adult. You go if I do this right, this 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 and this will happen, right? And I don't you know I don't want that. I don't want to lose Kalila. I don't want to lose my life. I don't want to lose. You know, so it's not and obviously not even fathomable. It's not worth it at all in any way. So it's like you, you know, you 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 think it through, but you know, you reminisce about the old days. I didn't think that's healthy, right? Yeah, that's totally normal. Totally, you know, I you, think that everybody does that. I know I do that. Yeah, you reminisce about. Um, I don't reminisce about old boy having sex with old boyfriends. Yeah. I reminisce about randomly meeting people and then like having like a full on make out session and not knowing their name and then just like going home and never seeing them again. That type of fun stuff where you talk about, you know, the, the, the next morning where you're having coffee with, you know, your friends and you're like, oh shit, was he even cute, dude? Yeah. And, like, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, Jessica's yeah. like, dude, he was so fucking ugly and you were just all over. <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> stories like that I laugh at because I've really, I mean, I went slumming. There are moments where I'm just like, they'll take pictures and I and I look at it the next day and I'm like, oh my god, I really don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. I sometimes think about this one girl, a million. What? What's That's her name? her name. A million. A million. What race is that? She's white. A million. Yeah, she was a. <laughs> I met her at the Bellagio. Mm-hmm. Right. So, a movie. And she, it, and it was in Vegas and she um, was a prostitute yeah and she was expensive yeah oh, wait grand, didn't you really like her I kind of liked her yeah we, yeah. Had, we had number I had her number yeah you know and she was kind of like Meg ryan you know like looked like Meg, a young Meg Ryan wow. short hair wow. you know what I mean really kind of bubbly and, yeah. and cute expensive <laughs> but a grand a grand uh, yeah but um and I remember being in um, the Hard Rock, and I go, I was there. That it was that it, I was there doing the um, comedy thing, Court McCowan's room, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the night, the night that Kiedis, Anthony Kiedis, and Sasha came. Mm. But so Anthony Kiedis has a friend named Louis. I'm not gonna say his last name. He's still a friend of mine. I see him every once in a while. And Louis was there, and I was I met a million after the show. Did Did she go by Millie? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. That would have been cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> and I was sitting there with a million, and Louis saw her. Yeah. And he goes, who's that? I go, just you know, I'm gonna go up in the room, you know. And he pulls me aside, and he goes, "Is that a prostitute?" I go, "Yeah." And she, he goes, he got on his hands and knees. He had no money. He's just one of those guys that hangs out. He's a Hollywood guy that ha- knows a lot of celebrities, mm. and you know, he's always like couch surfing in so-and-so's house right but he really he's not a he doesn't have a job no talent really well he has a talent he's he's a good you know socializer oh okay, <laughs> okay. i was like he's <laughs> yeah, not entertaining yeah yeah, yeah yeah and he tears in his eyes after i'll do it after you know, he goes i'll do it after you and i go well you're not gonna do it before me bitch you know what <laughs> I mean? and I, he goes but i have no money 
And I go, I, I'll do it. So I paid for him too. It's a two grand. Yeah. And then here's the tragedy. Then a year later, I'm back in Vegas. And I kept calling her and she wouldn't pick up. And then she calls me like the last night I was there. And she's running. She's I'm in trouble. And I don't know where else to go. And oh can you help me? You know what I mean? Like crying. And I hung up the phone. I didn't know what to do. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was scared. I mean, was this intense. is a fictional story. This sounds like a movie. Vegas, Sweetie. Bellagio, expensive hotel. She hooker. was in trouble. You know, with like gangsters or something. I know, but you could have been her Richard Gere. Well, she was a Julia Roberts. I didn't think it was late at night. I, I'm sorry. I hope you're alive, Amelia. Poor Millie. <laughs> Millie, we hope you're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that would be I scary. feel guilty. Do I? Did I do the bad thing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm a bad guy. Am I a bad guy? I mean, guy? you were probably scared of I was getting scared. caught up in Reaction something. Is yeah, you you get. Re yeah, I didn't want to get involved. I've seen too many movies where mafia. All of a sudden, she runs to my and then I'm I'm in the middle of some sort of drug espionage. Yeah, yeah. And then they find my carcass in the middle of the desert. Yeah, and you're forgotten. And I'm forgotten. Yeah. Also, there are a lot of scams lately with um, sex workers. There we go. Um, that where... too done. Justified. <laughs> Justified. Justified. <laughs> Um, no, actually, I shouldn't say that about. There are a lot of like solid sex workers. I shouldn't say that as a general thing, but there have been some scams. Oh yeah, and I was at Starbucks the other week, and a guy gets a call. He's sitting with his wife and his kids. He gets a call, and he's you hear yelling on the phone. It's like, "Hey, babe, it's me, it's me." He's like, "Who?" <laughs> it's me. Cuts off a different voice. Uh, we have your wife. And his wife is sitting right there. So the guy's looking at his wife. He puts on speakers for all listening. Yeah. And he's like, hey, talk to my wife. And she's like, I'm his wife. Hangs up. So people are just doing that apparently because like a, that's like a thing. Oh, my God. That's so scary. That's so scary. But I if you're not with them, like yeah. if, some, if somebody called you, Bobby, we have Kalila. Boom. Hang up. Yeah. And you're not there. Yeah. You might send money. I don't know. Give all uh, well, gifts. no. I would call her first. Well, you call Renzo because he's a cop. Yeah, call Renzo. Well, there's a bunch <laughs> yeah. of things I would do before that, you know? Yeah. It's a two-day thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone. But um, yeah, I crazy. got scammed. I, I think I've talked about when I got scammed when I lived in um, on Draper in La Jolla. By yes. A, I've talked about that? Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. But we can talk What's about it again. What's the recap on that? I don't... So I was, I was living with the five people on yeah. the, right by the comedy store. It was a street called Draper. And one day my landlord, he used to do yard work. He was like a nice guy. I forgot his name, but he goes, hey, this guy is, knows Jay Schweikert. Jay Schweikert is an old friend of mine. He used to manage a coffee shop that I worked at. Uh -huh. And um, I go, yeah, I know Jay. He was an old surfer guy, you know, local guy. Yeah, popular too. So, you know, every, you know, so I go, oh, yeah, he's a friend of Jay's? Yes, yeah, so I walked out and there was a guy an older man, long hair. He had no shoes, but he was a surfer. He looked like he had, he had been at the beach, super tan. He goes, hey, man, you know, I work for Surfer, surfer Magazine. I'm friends with Jay Schweikert. I go, oh, cool. Anyway, what? What's up? What's going on? He goes, dude, so, um, you know, I was living in Mexico for about six months, you know, doing a bunch of photo shoots, and, I, and he named my neighbor, Frank, next door. I parked my Porsche in the back of his car in the alleyway. Frank's at work. It got towed. I have $10,000 and a pound of weed back there in my Porsche mm. because I don't have any money. That's how I deal with my money. I go, okay. He goes, all I need is you to, is to go to the, you know, get, if you, you can loan me like a hundred bucks, we can go to the towing company. I can get my car out. I'll give you 500 bucks and a quarter a pot or whatever. I go, I don't smoke, but I'll take the money. Cool, you're in? Mm -hmm. I'm in. <laughs> so I go to the fucking Wells Fargo. I ha I'm only in. have 150 bucks in there. Loaded. I have no money. Mm -hmm. I pull it out, but in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna get 500, I'm gonna have dinner tonight. And we're <laughs> driving the truck downtown, which is not anywhere near La Jolla. Yeah. And we're driving now in kind of the outskirts of downtown. I go, what towing company is? Why would they tow it out here? He said, I don't know. It's fucking weird, right? He goes, oh, stop it right here. My sister lives here. Oh, my God. I need to run in and say hi to my sister. Do something with my sister. And I go, right here? So he runs through this apartment building, opens up the gate, 
And I'm, I'm out there for like 45 minutes. Damn. Kind of looking out. <laughs> but as time goes on. Let's do this. Yeah. You no, know, as time goes on, you go. Did I just get scammed? It clicks. Right? I walk into the apartment building and there's a back gate. It's completely open. And now I know. He ran. So I get in my fucking truck. And I go to the panic and where Jay Schweikert works because he dropped his name. And I go, do you know, this, this just happened to me. I'm like emotional. And you know what he, Jay says to me? That happened to me last week. <laughs> I love that multiple people. That's how they knew him. That's how. Like he goes through mail. Apparently he goes through mail. Mm -hmm. He's done a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Like he, he finds out where who your neighbors are, all that's weird shit. He gets enough information and he pulls this weird fucking. It's an elaborate thing, huh? Yeah. That's why you don't trust people. Yeah. Yeah, I but let's hope Millie is doing all right. Shout out to Millie. Should I feel bad about Millie? Uh, ah, uh, no. You were very young and you were just unsure. I. That's I, a scary call. What if she? It was all a scam too. Nah, if you're the first person she's calling, she has to have better friends than you. Oh, that's then true. Then she's she a dangerous the person. Cops. If you're the first person she's calling, she's a dangerous person. If you're like her best friend. Oh yeah, I don't know her that well. Yeah. Oh, there we go, she's George. She's the type of person that does not have anybody hey, better in you, her phone than you. You're you. So killed, smart. you killed your stand-up set. Wow, George. <laughs> awesome, George. Good stuff. George is the most sane person out of all of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Not that I could articulate it back then, but that is <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking. But you just did for me. Thank you so much. You know, you just saved me out of there. You did pretty good, huh? In Irvine. You did pretty good in Irvine. Pretty good in Irvine. You didn't I it. hated all the fans saying how brave I was afterwards, though. That wasn't fun. <laughs> that, that's that when, was that's when you fun. know. <laughs> George, you were brave up there. Now you were funny. You were yeah. brave. You want people to go, oh my God, you were so good. You're, George, you're yeah. like the Elizabeth Swayer of, of comedy. Do you know who she is? No. She's that um, Olympian who conned her way into the Olympics. Oh. What's the story behind that? Yeah, so, tell me, tell me. So in the sport, I guess there's a sport called, um, you know how there's a half pipe, right? Yeah. But there's a skiing half pipe. And I guess there are only 28 women total in the world that do this. Really? Oh, That's I it? And so there's this American girl. She didn't qualify for the American team, obviously, because I guess we have legitimate half pipe skiers. So she has a grandmother who's from Hungary. Mm -hmm. So she applied for Hungarian citizenship. Oh my God. And then she, just to say she wasn't, she, so she made the Olympic, Olympic. team, mm. but did you see her performance? You know how no, they're supposed I, to do aerial tricks and everything? She yeah. just like, she made her way through that half. She just skied like this. Wait, 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 wait. Pull that up. I wait. swear to you. No, wait, let me ask you this. She auditioned for the Hungarian team, right? No. Because you there's have, such you have a to few. Qualify for them. There's so this is like a there's so few women in this sport yeah. that I think they automatically just said okay. You're, but they saw her do it one time though. I think that she had competed before, or I I, I don't know like she's the a, circumstances. A reel? But she did not do a, a, a single trick. What she were just the, oh, came oh, through the half pipe. What were the commentators it. saying? I think everyone was kind of like, "What the fuck is she doing?" <laughs> I love it. She should have got a goal for trying. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love but that story. She she just did it just so she could say she's an Olympian. So is she a con artist or is she a genius? I mean, I mean, why? But my thing is, is this: is, is that if you can't win, or you don't have a shot of meddling, does she just want TV exposure? I mean, what the no, fuck no, is no. the point? Being an Olympian is an honor. If I to get, you know, like my dream was always to get the Olympic rings tattooed on me because that's what all Olympians do when you make it to the Olympics. <laughs> that's what you do. Like my friends who went to the Olympics, they all have their Olympic rings. And when I see it, I cry. Like I actually like cry out of envy. Whoa, who gives a fuck? <laughs> it's a big thing. It's a big who deal. Who gives a fuck? But she got her Olympic rings that way. I should join. I should be a fucking half pipe skier. <gasps> Hungarian one. I've never even like snowboarded. I mean, the Philippines are that, that seems so inconceivable to me that you could get through, and that you could That's go strange. through all the loops. No qualifying. Hoops. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then the Hung Hungarian um, Olympic Committee was like, "We need to reassess <laughs> our um, qualification well, criteria you... because we're they were embarrassed." I want to see. I want to see it. What, what... 
what what was her name? Elizabeth Swayer, I think. Oh god, we got to see it. People are just wrecking her on Instagram or well, social media. Well, it's probably not as funny as Donald Trump saying that oh. he would have ran into the school without <laughs> unarmed. I would have ran into the school unarmed. That's what he oh said to them. Yeah? Yeah, he did. Out loud. Out loud, yeah. This piece of shit. Yeah. I mean, I, I know we don't talk about politics. I'm not going to get into it. I just needed to say that. But that was pretty funny. This is not, not just funny. Yeah, not, not, yeah. I, you know, and, you know, at this point, can we just, it's okay to say if you voted for him, it's okay to say I fucked up. Yeah. At this point, I'm letting you, I'm letting that. Your grace. Yeah. Your grace. Yeah. I understand. I understand what you might be. He's going to, you know, you know, he's gonna shake it up in Holly in in in, in 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 Washington. You know, whatever your mentality was, he's gonna break down the the walls and you know reconstruct it the way as a business or whatever. He's a buffoon. <laughs> he's a fucking loser. Can we just admit that? We're not gonna talk about it. I don't give a fuck anymore. If, if you're, I don't care. You can say uh, you don't know anything about politics. You don't know about you know. I don't give a fuck. He's a sh <laughs> uh, fuck you. He's the worst. Oh my God! You would you 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 you're a draft dodger. So is my stepdad. I understand that, but Roger <laughs> wouldn't say I would have ran into that school unarmed. No, and he okay. was yeah. He would have never said that out loud. He's not a my. He just Correction. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't believe but in Roger, Vietnam. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, you know. We saw the Vietnam documentary. Yes. And we saw the atrocity it was. It was. People like, you know, I know that Kennedy started it, but it was, it was that whole Washington machine mm -hmm. of ego and like, it, it just didn't make any sense through time. And I get why people go, this war makes no fucking sense. Yeah. And he was one of the kids right. or college and, kids protesting. Yeah, he's time. like those kids protesting the, the Parkland shooting. You know, guys that feel this one way and you can't, ugh, these people that are victimizing them are, are saying that these conspiracy theorists I, I, I just can't. I just, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a new low, I think, when you build conspiracy theories against children who are actually there to witness a yeah. you know, catastrophe. Mm -hmm. That's unfair. Yeah. You know, can we just do say this? Their friends are dead. It is inconceivable to me. If I was in high school and I saw any of my friends shot in the head, Right, I, I, I honestly, I, I don't. That's right there, a, a life-altering event. I mean, it is something that I can't even fucking imagine. Mm -hmm. Right, if these kids need to fucking go, go on the streets and 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 protest, let them. Let them. Let them freely. This is America. You know I mean don't try to break down their character or victim or. or villainize them you know these are people that are like are they believe in this you know i mean i believe there should be machine guns everywhere but you know <laughs> i'm kidding what's a good segue you want to talk no about segue. you want to talk no about donut segue. holes wait 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 didn't you have an email about some guy from houston Oh yeah, it was just a positive. Oh, should we do a positive email? A positive yeah, but give me a positive one. email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went down a little <laughs> That's fucking a good depressing. Segue. <laughs> I went through a little depressing rabbit hole. Can yeah. we just say? <laughs> um, where is it? Oh, another thing too. Do that while I'm looking for this. Okay, God, my, so my 16 year old niece who's visiting um, in a month, she's going to like a junior prom, and um, she's going with it's this driving kid. Me fucking crazy. What do you Why? mean? Because <laughs> I keep. I want to hear this. It, it, it's it literally is driving me fucking every night for three weeks a month. I hear her and her and your his, her your niece's mom. My, yeah, your sister. my sister. Honey. Honey. Her, her talk name is about honey. this fucking prom drama, you know. And I'm sitting there playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> and I, and it, I can't. Seriously. It's business. hours of it. <laughs> You know, I talked to the principal and she said that, you know, they're going to have a prom next year, but we don't know. But we don't know what dress we should get. Where do you think we should go? I think we should go to, um, maybe we shouldn't go. I think she's lying to me. You know what I mean? And it's like, Why is she Korean? oh, I don't know. That's the way that's I hear how, that's yeah, how all That's Filipinos how, yeah, are, that's yeah. how Filipinos are. They're Korean. And I'm literally like every fucking 
a- anyway, I'm just go trying ahead. to catch fish. Yeah. But you know how we always talk about Filipinos having just the the funniest choices and names. Like my cousin's name, my sister's name is Honey. Okay, <laughs> that's my not that bad. My cousin's name is Chick Chick. That's okay. Ma- you know, like Manny that's Pacquiao's good. daughter is Queen Elizabeth. Stuff that's like hilarious. That. Best name ever. That's the that's the one that's weird. <laughs> I bet you anything they call her Queenie. It's a very common name. But then I just find, found out today who's taking my niece Juliana. Beautiful name. Wait, just real quick. What what would you name like a weird name for your daughter? Mm, like something like Cactus. That's a good one. <laughs> Cactus. I was that's thinking like weird... ca- Calendar. Oh, that's calendar. a good or Calendar. I have a friend named Twinkle. Twinkle's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. But I want you guys to hold on. We'll see if she. Oh, never mind. Osmosis. Osmosis Jones. Oh, there is osmosis. There, there's an osmosis. Yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah. I gotta think of something else. Just, I gotta think of something that's original. Here yeah. we go. Um. Um. Light fixture. Ooh, light fixture. Is light, is light, light fixture good? Sure. What about light sink? Sink is good. Sink is sink. good. Get over here. Sink. sink. Go to sink. your room. Get over here. Light fixture. Get over here. Clean your room. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Good. You need God water. Damn. You yeah, want to yeah, drink some yeah, water? Yeah. So. What's another one? I like I like single single syllables like desk or sink. Uh huh. Lamp. Lampy. Uh, um. How about um. You faucet. Guys, you guys oh. have to name one of your children like drywall. <laughs> drywall. <laughs> Drywall's good. Dry, drywall. Just something that's kind of just you know uh, an object, random object that's no one is called. There's no one on earth that called dry, drywall. But would you name one of your children drywall? But spell it differently. Soil. Is soil? That's actually not soil. soil. Soil is good. Soil is good. That you could get away with. Soil. I already. I That's kind of cute. If soil. I have a girl, I already know what I want to name her and Bobby doesn't like it. What is it? Because it's a Filipino name. What is it? It's Amihan. No. That's MS-13 shit. No. <laughs> I mean, I Amihan. Amihan. Yeah. Amihan is like. it's there's two. go for Amihan, bro. She go kill you. There's two types you, of trade winds in the <laughs> Philippines, and Amihan is one of them. So it's Amihan and Habagat. We're not doing it. We're doing, Habagat? Habagat. We're doing Katie. Can no Katie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing something just Hi, I'm generic. I'm Katie Lee. Katie Lee or no. um, Sam- Samantha. Samantha no. Lee? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Korean. yeah. All, all nice names, but no, we gotta go with something more. Uh, but we need to do traditional. No, what is traditional? My name is Kalila, Kalila. Yeah, but you're fucking from, you're half Punjab. Name <laughs> <laughs> so your child Punjab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Punjab. Um. Anyway, we'll think about it if we have one. Yeah. But Sandy, Sandy's, Sandy, my opener, Danto, her baby's coming. Coming out. Oh my god! He's so worried. Wait. So are we? Are we? Or are we not gonna have children? We're gonna. You know why? You know what? You know why? Here's why. I was convinced. Guess who had her her baby this weekend? Who? Natasha. Natasha. Legero. Nata- oh. I saw. Natasha had her baby over the weekend, and she had her baby on her chest. And I told Sandy, I go, "There's something about that photo that you can tell it changed Natasha." Natasha had I've never seen her face like this where it was content and hi I was waiting for you like it was such a beautiful fucking photo I'm about to because I've known Natasha for so long and Moshe I love both those guys, people I, they're, they're the nicest people in the world and Natasha used to live in my building oh, yeah. in, in Silver Lake oh in Silver Lake yeah, so I've known Natasha for so long, and just and she's older. How old is Natasha? I think she she's 30s. in her forties. Yeah. She is. Yeah, she looks mm-hmm. good. Yeah, and, she looks and, yeah, she late thirties, early forties, and she had a baby. Okay. And, and and it's not. I don't think it's retarded. It looked normal. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, but she's probably. She probably has a healthy baby. She probably lived a very healthy life. All I'm saying is, if you and I are going to consider it. It it has to be in the next within the next three years. Yeah, for sure. I don't Done. want to Done tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna have a baby. I have to have a baby with you. Oh my god! <laughs> <All> the- <laughs> Did you see? Whoa! Can we zoom up the on fear, her eyes? The fear. You in said her that eyes. with so much confidence. Yeah. Her eyes. <laughs> you know. Um, would you be open to surrogacy? What does that mean? 
someone where else carries your, your child. My egg, your sperm in planted into another woman's uterus. Oh, I've seen rom coms like that. Uh, so that she carries it, but it's still our genetic. Yeah, but then what if the girl's like Eileen Warnos? And she just takes off with her baby? Or no, she's a designer just, baby. Or does it, uh, <laughs> it, 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 no, if they're okay, if our if our my sperm and your egg are in another woman, yeah. can their genetics go into it? Um, they say okay? no, but I think that there's some... there has to be something that bleeds through. I would love to watch an Asian baby come out of a white woman. That's gonna be amazing. <laughs> what if it comes out like really Samuel L. Jackson black? Well, Kalila. Well, then I fucked the black guy. No, no, no. Oh, but okay. no, it was all my sperm, your sperm, you know. My egg. And, you're, and it, it just randomly, it just come out, comes out just this big black baby. <laughs> Can mm. that ever happen? Is there a well, disease like that? Is well, there, where the it. race completely changes? <laughs> but it doesn't have any of the black talent, so that'd be sad. There is. The talent, <laughs> the black talent. Yeah, yeah. It just looks black, but it's Asian. Yeah. That would be sad. <laughs> it's a dark Filipino. Yeah. yeah. It can't run or nothing. I didn't tell you guys what racist? my what the name of this kid is that's taking to my 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 niece to. Prom. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna have you guess. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, 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 drywall. I don't it's know. It's a name of a band. <laughs> it's a name, name of a band. Creed. Hoobastank. Um. Some forty one. Okay, one of their albums. No. Okay, one of their albums is the name of the place we're going to tomorrow. You too. <laughs> His name is what? U2. The baby's name is U2? No, baby. the prom the, guy who's oh. taking my niece. His name is U2. <laughs> oh it's not even U2. It's, it's so U2. How do you funny. spell that? I don't even know. That's why I was trying U2. to call my sister. You know what's worse than that? UB40. <laughs> <laughs> if it was UB40, that'd be even fucking scarier. U2. U2. Yeah, but U2 could still be... Con- it could still be like the way if you say it. U2. Not like U2. U2. Yeah, he has name. That's how you say it. Actually, you say Yuto. Yeah, Yuto. so that's his name, Yuto, not U two, not yeah, letter U. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, he, how do you spell it? Is it U two? <laughs> That'd be funny. I, honestly, I think it's U two. One of I had Yuto. a friend growing up. His name was F three. Well, the, the, the F- letter three. It's like the keyboard thing. Like I need to. <laughs> yeah. I, I need to like stop my computer and restart it. F three. Yeah. 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 Was what? the baby conceived like near a computer? Yeah. And the dad's sitting there and they go, what do we name it? I need the name. F3. No, I think that he's, um, yeah, yeah. he's Francisco the Third. Or so they call Hewler him like Packard. F3. Either okay. one. Yeah. <laughs> HP. IBM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm lazy. Wow. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, and then I had uh, brothers who I used to swim with. One was seven and the, the younger one was eight. That's their, their name. name? That's the number. Name? Oh my! See, that's Why you do know Filipinos what? You're right. That? We should be more creative. We should be. Yeah, yeah. Traditional. I mean, I think F three is a little too far. <laughs> that's that's too much. Yeah, that's, that's too, too future. I'm like trying to look around the room now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think that we will. Fi- you know what? We'll have a contest on the podcast. If we have a baby, yeah, we'll go. We'll do a name contest. I I am not going to leave it up to this left <laughs> kingdom. No, no, no. I'm what I'm saying. No, I'm saying that we'll lo- use it as an option. Call it the Sultra's Papa. Just do it. Just, little, just, just a middle alert. name. Just a middle name. Call it Science Alert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not you guys. Yeah, let's I'm not sorry. default to. We love you guys. Just you know. No, they get the middle name. Come on, it's uh, by pure Papa- votes. Oh, pap- oh, papaya. Kind of. I don't know. Middle yeah. name. Papaya? If I oh, really <laughs> Shelly <laughs> papaya. <laughs> Shelly papaya. Kyun Lee. Your middle name Shangri. What is your Shangri? Shangri. 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 I can't hide it. What's your middle name? Liko. L I C O. L I C O. No, but that's your that's your maiden mom's name. maiden name. So I don't have an Shangra actual. is my real middle name because my mom's oh, maiden name then. is Avis. I don't have one. Mine's Young. Yeah, yours is Young. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. What's, and Steve's is uh, my mom's maiden what's name. What's T, George? Park, park. Thomas. Thomas. <gasps> that's a great name. Yeah. Thomas George, Shelby. George Thomas Kimmel. Kimmel. Wow. That's very, very traditional. Very I like Thomas better than I like George. Can you tell Bryce oh, this? Jesus. Can you tell Bryce <laughs> this? <laughs> what? Thank you so much for teaching me fishing in Sky, Sky Do- <laughs> Star, Stardew Valley. I heard you caught a lot. I've been I've I'll been killing it. it, you know, and he saved my fucking life with that. Anyone listening, I know you don't. I, I, this is the best game I've ever played. I'm still playing it. Anyway, what, what are we what are we doing? Hold on one second. For Why has he 50. saved your life? What? Tell us what kind of fish. Rare. I mean, in the game, there's you can pl- you can fish for this, but there's legendary fish. There's the mutant carp. 
You mean there's the crimson one available in the sewers? Yeah. There's Leg- legend, <laughs> which out. is only um, available in the summers. Wait, why do you want a mutant carp if it's from the sewers? It's just one fish that you get, and, you, and it says you just cast. There's always one fish to get, mm. and one of them's called the mutant carp. There's void salmon by the witch's hut. I mean, there's other ones, but those aren't legendary. They're just five notorious ones. I only need is one more. What about the bass? There's no, but the bass is not. Um, Legendary. It's not legendary, baby. I I, I'm gonna name you it right here. I have the. Uh, I have a Sky Dew Valley. Look, I have an app, oh, right? Wow. You got the whole app. Oh, I have. Yeah. Oh, I need the app. Balls I'm, deep. I need. I'm balls deep, right? And if you go down to, I know people don't give a fuck, but it says legendary. <laughs> okay, there's the angler is the only one I don't have, but there's a crimson glacier legend and mutant carp. Anyway, killing the game. Killing the game, and um, next, I, I think, I, I think Oliver's in for next week. Okay. Oh, let's not announce because I, I want to oh. announce it because I want to put it on the universe. If it's not him, we will get something better. <laughs> so, but you hear that, Oliver? Yeah, yeah. Oliver sure Hudson, up. you have to do it next week. <laughs> I'm throwing it out there in the universe. Everyone on Twitter, because he's not going. Well, should we do it more by the um the the, the date of when splitting up companies? Then, then do like, it again, it. man. Um, what's the question? Unhelpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. Unhelpful advice. So I am a 25-year-old male from UK who currently on a six-month trip in Southeast Asia. After a drunken night out in El Nido, Philippines, I found myself going back to the ladyboy's apartment, who also was a prostitute. I was so drunk that I didn't wear a condom. Ever <laughs> since my paranormal... <laughs> this is serious, Bobby. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I just, Ever since my paranoia self has been thinking, I'm probably going to die of AIDS. It's my first experience with a guy, and that doesn't bother me as I'm quite an open-minded person. But what the fuck was I thinking fucking a hooker without a condom? To be honest, there was no ejaculation. It was a lady boy. Yeah, so you fucked it in the ass. And she didn't fuck me. It probably only lasted a few minutes until I realized how stupid I was being. Well, he fucked. Oh, let me just get this straight. He fucked... A dude, a lady boy. What does that mean? It's a, a boy with a penis. He's transgender. Yeah, a dude from the Philippines. From the Philippines. From my homeland. In Why the butthole. <laughs> in the butthole with no condom. Mm -hmm. You're and fine. Well, his question is, am I gonna die? You can't die from AIDS <laughs> anymore. Or can you please give me some hope that I'm probably gonna be okay? I return home to England in a few weeks, and we'll be getting tested for everything straight uh, away. Let me just Cheers. say something to you, sir. Okay, is is that number one? Don't ever do that again. <laughs> yeah. That's my advice. I'm not a fucking doctor or a part of the medical profession, but I just doesn't sound safe. And also number two, even the worst comes to worst, you get AIDS. Okay, you can't die from it. Well, you can die. You can die from it, but you, there are cocktails you can take and whatnot, and it, it can prolong your life. So it's not it's not a death sentence. It's not, and also. Um, Ah, and the next time you go to El Nido, which is one of my favorite places on the planet to go to, I've the been there several tourist times. Tourist destination, or I, I, I tell people not to go there. Well, cause the last time I was there was a few years ago. Now, because of Instagram, everyone's going there. It's so fucking pristine and beautiful. I wish that that hooker wasn't from there, because there's like so many other fun things to do. Why do you have to go fuck my <laughs> boy there? Yeah. Yeah, and also I I don't care how drunk I am. I'm. Mean, it's like if there's a dick, I, unless you know what I mean. Oh, if I was a dude, I'd fuck dudes all the time. With, oh, that's because oh, you're a girl. No, I just. <laughs> no, I, that's because I mean, you are talking about a girl. Just, Your mind like, is a girl. For me, like sexual, I can take my like sexual pleasure is sexual pleasure. A mouth is a mouth. I don't have to look at. I that didn't person. say not a get a blowjob, but fuck them in the butthole. Yeah, with oh no condom. God. I I th I think that th my head would go. This is not. No offense, dude. But you're not I'm a butthole you guy. You, well, yeah, yeah, that, that is true. I'm not a butthole guy. He doesn't even like fucking my butthole. I think he's only done it like once or with twice you. ever. Yeah. Yeah. I was your first, right? And last. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. Because once you go in, it's just like a big, open, dark abyss. It's only tight in the beginning. And then after that, there's no... It's like, hollow. It's hollow. Yeah, it's really like quite yeah, sad in there. Yeah, do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Clala has a loose butthole. I don't. I have a very, actually, I have a very, very tight asshole. 
But any tight asshole, once you get in there, it's just going to feel like a hollow, just empty space. It was like an IED went off on there. Really? <laughs> My asshole? Blown out. It was blown out. A couple yeah, yeah. rooms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a Stardew Valley house. Yeah. Anyway. um. Any shows? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sickly. Um, I have El Paso. Oh, coming up. Coming yeah. up. I have um Arlington. Texas, Arlington. Oh, you Virginia. have um Addison coming Addison, up too. Addison coming up. Um but yeah, I feel free. I feel good. God bless you. And remember what I said. This is the best. If you have your health, you have a job, you have loved ones, look around you. Live in the moment. You know, sometimes when, this is going to sound dumb, but sometimes when I want to live in the moment, mm -hmm. I use my hands and I feel the things around me, right? And um, my, my old AA sponsor when I was 17, right, he would go, he would clap in front of it, here, now, 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 now. I always think of that mm. to, to keep me in the present moment. You know, you know, as much as I love, I love when people are very like, like who give good guidance like that and tell you to be me to have presence of mind and to be in the moment. But do you ever come around people who are just straight up happiness bullies where when you're telling them when you're trying to when you have a problem, say, for instance, and you're tr pouring your heart out and you're feeling a, a little unsteady and they're like, namaste, sister, zen, you know, and they're, they're trying to be like so fucking positive. When yeah, you just, Jenna. That when was, you just, <laughs> sounds, that <laughs> exact Jenna sense. No, no, your Jenna's not like that. Jenna your, is actually other a very one, good listener. The other friend that you have. No, Candy. she's good too. Candy. The hippie two. The hippie two, two twins. But you know what I'm talking about? Where the like everything, twins. every answer that they have is always this like ultra positive where they just, they, I just need them to say, you know what? That sucks. That sucks. I'm sorry you're going through that. But they're like always offering some type of fucking super zen bullshit. And you're like, oh, I just needed you to say you know that's it, not what I was doing. I was just trying no, to be no, positive. No, I'm not saying that. Bitch, it was, fuck. No, I wasn't <laughs> saying that. What a fucking that at asshole all. you're being. <laughs> No, I was. Just I was just trying to end the fucking thing, and then all of a sudden, you're like bringing up another thing to keep talking. <laughs> Hippie twins. Are we done? Yes. Okay. I love you. What is this, George? Hey, what was what that email that you were gonna read? Oh, you want to read it? Yeah, so, read it. I want to give shout outs to uh, all the latest uh, well, iTunes. We're gonna do. Uh, a, we're gonna do. A, we're gonna do a cleaning house. So okay. We, nah. Whatever. Okay. Can't clean the house. Hi, my name is Ethan Hong. I went to Bobby Lee's show, show on Saturday, February 24th at the Houston Improv, and I just wanted to say it was one of the greatest things to ever happen to me, exclamation mark. It was such an amazing experience. It was so crazy and surreal in how Bobby interacted and talked with me the entire show, and I literally had adrenaline from it for the next five hours, not being able to believe what just happened. I tried meeting y'all and told the security guard, George has a pink dick, but you had a show right after. I really wish you come back to Houston the next uh, year in the future because I would love to see you perform again. Thank you so much for tonight, Bobby, and the rest of the Tiger Belly crew for making my I remember who better. he was, too. So. You guys are the best. He was an Asian kid in the front row. Ethan. Yeah, he was skinny, and I kept like grab touching his hair and, and, and going back to him. And uh, thank you, Ethan. I remember you, and I'll always remember you. There you go, Ethan. Anyway, um, I'm so tired, guys. I love you guys so much. Um, good night. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did we reach MMA, an hour? We're over an hour. Yeah. MMA Minute with Kalila Kuhn. You see the Fox card? I know you did. Uh, Emmett versus Steve Holmes. Yes. That was a really good fight. That was a fun fight. Man, Jeremy Stevens knows how to put on a show. What did you think about the supposed like illegal shots to the back of the head? Uh, those were illegal. I mean, straight yeah, up. Yeah, but I mean, he, Emmett was moving around. It was kind of like, you know, I think, I think, what was it, Cormier who was saying like, oh, in the heat of the moment, you should still be able to, um, you know. I don't, I don't agree with that. I mean, exactly the the where you land your shots, but. The fighter is a fighter, but honestly, the ref should have stopped. I mean, he should have said, stop, mm -hmm. back to head warning or something. But uh, those were illegal shots. The ref didn't see it, so you're good. Yeah, and um, that knee didn't land. The knee did not land, but it touched. So I guess if Grazed. you're for being technicalities mm -hmm. i guess you could be like well then you hit my head they didn't stop the fight my knees were on the ground yeah but that yeah. stuff that stuff is so close and if i'm a ref i don't know what i mean that shit's happening so fast yeah that's tough um what other fights were there Tisha i like, Torres and i saw the Francesca highlights Andrage. did you was that a good one 
or yeah, did Andrade was... just bully her because she's enormous? Uh, and strong. I thought Tisha was actually getting the better of the boxing exchange in the first round, and then um, after that, Andrade. Once Andrade was able to take her down, mm -hmm. there wasn't much Tisha could do from um, on her back. Yeah, unfortunately, but Andrade is just a really, really strong girl. I should probably take the winner of Rose and. Uh, for her sake, she wants Rose because she's already fought Ioana. Lost. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and there was one other good fight. I was like, damn. Mike Perry? That no. went to decision. No, I saw that. Oh, I, was... I know you're, who you're talking about. OSP. It was OSP. Eerie, Latifi. Yeah, Latifi. Oof, I do not want to ever be in that joke. <laughs> From a guy that's yeah. that stocky. That looks terrifying. Yeah. That was good. That was a good fight. That's all we got. Exactly a minute, guys. <laughs> Boom. Desi. <laughs> Haha, we did it. Damn it. My sister Sorry, sit over here for a second while okay. we chat because we got to go through some stuff. Um, thank you for not closing the door. Uh, hashtag just doing a joke. See? Oh, dang it. I stuck up for you, George. I said you had chuckles. <laughs> and that was the truth. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. Uh, yes. I am wearing a really cool hoodie. If you are listening. Oh, and I was also wearing a very cool hoodie last week. Hoodie. <laughs> I a hoodie last week. People are already asking about it online, so uh, let them know what's Who are we giving happened. shout outs to this uh, week? Let me see one. Yeah, just a uh, random shout out to the latest uh, iTunes reviews. Hi, Pop-Ups. Oh. Hi, baby. I love you. So, uh, shout out. Well, firstly, let's uh, before we get to that, let's a uh, big shout out to Raider Nate, uh, one of the admins on the Facebook page. He just got married, so uh, head on oh, over to the congrats. Facebook. They were already married. No. Um, the photos seem to make it look like they weren't. Well, they congratulations, just got married, so. Nate. We hope to meet your Filipino wife one day. Uh, so yeah, head on over to Facebook and give him a shout out, guys. And our shout out. So uh, let's go, Richard Eugene M, uh, for that five star review on iTunes. Why are you reading this review? Okay. But he did say Tiger Belly is amazing. Uh, oh, I have who... one from Mike E. Basically, for an hour, you get to feel like you're hanging out with Bobby Lee, his girlfriend, his subordinate, and a good wife. <laughs> <laughs> Every week on Wednesday. This podcast made me into the man that I am today. Five stars. <laughs> Shout out to Mike E. for one of the best <laughs> comments ever. <laughs> so I'm not the good white. I'm assuming I'm the good white. And Give me one of those. I'll choose one from <clears throat> from somebody's page. Uh, not Austin uh, says Gilbert for the win. Thanks, Austin. Uh, what else we got here? Let me see. So many. Oh wait. Rudzo nine la cucaracha. I don't even know what that means. Maybe he's trying for his own uh, nosotros papaya. Hmm. Quick sauce, shout out to Quick Sauce. Join the family and become a baby belly. The diet kingdom. Are we still baby you. belly? Hashtag no soldiers but bias. That's People a just classic. choose. That's, that's a, a classic. classic. Um, anything else, George? Oh yeah. So well, why we did the shout outs for iTunes is mm -hmm. we will be doing shout outs to you guys uh, if you leave a comment on iTunes uh, and rate us five stars. So if you want your message read out from the subordinate, good white, or Bobby's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> write something out i have a name <laughs> name is uh what's your name it's uh drywall do you know that when i go to starbucks or places like that i don't give my real name what do you put i say jenna <laughs> i give my or, friends name. or gilbert or George. You do Gilbert? I do, yeah. Anything but Kalila, because I think that I'm. I feel like I'm holding up the line by having to spell, to it, spell out. it out for them, and then if they don't, I, I never give anyone trouble for misspelling my name or not saying it correctly. Mm. Like I don't get offended. It's like, look, if you at least try, but also I just feel like I'm holding up the line. I have so a theory. Like, Starbucks does it on purpose just to get free online advertising. I think so too. I think that oh, that's sure. probably a very smart thing. Hang on one second. Here's my sister on the phone. I want to see how you two is spelled. And Kalal's putting her phone Han? right now. Honey? Hello, Kalala. Sorry, I was talking to your mother. I didn't hear your ring. Oh, that's okay. I just had one question. Ah, uh, okay. Um, question ako. Oh, Napa. <laughs> Um, what, um, once I spelling, well, how do you spell you two? You two? You two, but the guy who's taking Julie to prom. It's Y-U-T-O? 
That's his real name? So it's not you and two, like the band. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Y-U-D-O-G-U-T-O. You two. And then is he's that short for something? Japanese oh, it's Mago. it's short for good. Oh, he's Japanese. Oh. Yeah, or Korean, or I don't know. But he's not Filipino good. Ah, okay, that makes sense it's, now. Then it's a good dom. Yes, his father is Japanese Mangoro Gyutu. Oh. Okay, well then it's not even funny anymore. I just thought a Filipino named his kid after like the U two, like the band. Nope, it's a Japanese boy. <laughs> no, he's he is Koan. He is um. His father is um, Japanese or Korean. Han, no one believes me that we have a cousin named Korokotok. No, wait, it's true. <laughs> ate, yeah. that's not true, Ate. <laughs> it's true, oi. We have a cousin named Korokotok. We used to live with him. Okay, it sounds like you're making that up, Ate. <laughs> ah. Do not lie to God. God is watching your lies. The <laughs> devil Gilbert. speaks. <laughs> Siggy Han, thank you. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Well, well, that's a pretty common Japanese name. Yeah, then. now it's like not yeah. even special anymore. That's someone I you ruined could, it. That's someone you could see on Tara's house. <laughs> yeah. Literally. I think F3 just holds the cake then. That's a great one. Takes the cake, I mean. All uh, right, guys. I think that's all we have for this week. Our show. Uh, just If you are watching on YouTube, we are wearing these hoodies. These are premium hoodies, so this will be out in a couple of weeks. Uh, we also have T-shirts coming out, beanies, and we'll be releasing the sticker pack one again. Mm -hmm. uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, these premium hoodies, though, are in limited quant uh, limited quantities, so you have to get them immediately when they pop out. And we'll be posting stuff on social media to let you know. And they're when. really cool because the glue thumb, mm -hmm. if you can't see, are, are actually it's embroidered into there. Guys, this isn't cheap like promo stuff for like a bank or something. This is <laughs> legit. <Bank>? I do <laughs> banks give out that? This isn't a concert, okay? This is real stuff. Yeah, it's very soft. Oh my god, I had a big blob <laughs> of saliva just come to the front of my mouth like very soft. It was very <laughs> soft. Oh my god. It's okay, Glada. We all, you know, sometimes have issues. Oh god, sorry. Uh, you can follow us on social media on uh, Instagram at TigerBelly, on Twitter at the TigerBelly, and email us any questions at the TigerBelly at gmail.com just a reminder the audio for this podcast because you're listening to it right now but just to remind you and tell your other slup kingdom friends who still don't know uh is that audio comes out typically on wednesday it is wednesday uh you can find that on spotify stitcher what else uh, uh There's no itunes, itunes for sure google iTunes. play google play mm -hmm. uh you can go on allthingscomedy.com and use soundcloud uh, but yeah, that's just for audio Wednesday, Wednesday, audio, audio, Wednesday, Wednesday, audio. And then the video comes out on George Thursday, 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 YouTube, Thursday, YouTube, 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 <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> okay, I'm delirious now. Uh, you can follow Kyle on all social media at Calamity K. And she's trying to get to 100,000 followers. So let's do that. <laughs> it, she whispered to me before the podcast. Like, that's one of her goals. She wants to be a social media star, a podcast a celebrity. George, oh where's all your Just social media? Just Instagram, George underscore Kimmel. And there will be a vlog coming out pretty soon where you can see some of George's set, which will be really exciting. You should also put mine up on there with his, my set. I have the original. Oh, the original you of your set? Slice it. You just haven't even let me see it. You just haven't to even share let me see it, uh, Gilbert. What, me, when I did it, I thought I was like, I got last, but I was like, oh, fuck, that's probably like a six, though. That's like a six for a five. Yeah, you know, it's mind. so weird because Gilbert, I thought, crushed. But I was like, oh, And then fuck. when he got off, he was like, oh, I fucked this one up. I shouldn't. And he was really self critical. I, like, I should have done this joke. I should have done that. There was a lull. Yeah, very self critical. So we'll put them side by side. Okay. Okay. All and right. Let's uh, see. George. Ah. Uh, just back down already. <laughs> He's too embarrassed I, to even okay. share his video after like a I'm, year and a half. I'm, I'm embarrassed. He, he, what a jerk. Why? He holds himself to a really high standard. Yeah. I hold my future self to a high standard. It's the same reason I haven't shown my butt in public in a while because there is like craters forming. You have craters. I have a ton of cellulite and I have a ton of stretch mark. And you know what? I don't give a shit. Okay. Well, I'll be on the lookout for her Instagram story. We're going to take pictures at, of her stretch marks. If now. you look at my bikini shots, I don't take out my stretch marks. They're there. Your so the fuck what? I got stretch marks when I grew up, when I grew up. Fine. Tall. I have butt cellulite. I'll show it to everyone. I do too. And you know what? When I push my butt in, there's a ton of craters. And I don't care. I don't care. I care a little bit if like... <laughs> 
<laughs> I care a little bit when it's in front of a lot of people. I don't care if I'm wearing like a swimsuit out in public. Because yeah. I'm like, those people don't know me. Why do they care about the potholes in my butt, right? I care if we're doing like prison style sex and it like he pushes it down and it's like, oh, that's just not a good look. So I try to like kind of arch my back a little bit so like my, my butt doesn't look like a smushed pancake. <laughs> Well, we'll leave you guys on that. <laughs> Kalila has a smush pancake butt. I don't. My butt's just fine. It's a normal butt. And I, I'm so tired of seeing Instagram butts that are so fucking Whoa. perfect. She's getting emotional. I think we no, have because to that's such a. That's not. I don't want my. Like, my niece now is saying, like, my butt's not big enough. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't be, de I can't be dealing Your niece with in this the Philippines? right now. Yes. And she's like, a, she has a size 22 waist and she has a perfect body. And she's like, my butt's not big enough. I'm like I can't deal with you bitch Western Western culture yeah, Ruining I, the world Yeah Social media is destroying the minds Your butt is fine Whatever it looks like It's perfectly fine All Bye right. guys <laughs> Alright Leave those items reviews Okay Bye, <laughs> <laughs> bye. Love that butt rant But isn't that a little exhausting To see such perfect women Like as a man Like <laughs>